Football made in Ghana. Uh, we're back here again on the show. My name is Fentio Tahir. Friends, as I always they like to talk, the show be interactive. It be pigeon show. So I, I beg, feel free. Send me a message. Plus 233-550-585832. Uh, the number they go there on your screen very shortly. So make you send me a WhatsApp message. Plus 233-550-585832. That be where uh, you go figure in touch with me. The number they your screen. So make I know. Uh, I shall say already so far, you people, you see all the other things we talk about in terms of like all the conversations they go on about the referee in the Ghana Premier League. So today we really go digest that particular matter, look at the history. We go bring some special guests here. Wait, my special guest for Kumasi, I go introduce him. He'll be Kotoko player, left back, proper baller. And I'll give you all the clues finished. So if you don't know, I'm here to... <laughs> I don't know why I'll be telling you again. But I'll go introduce him uh, very shortly. But first, on the show today, I bring this man. <laughs> Elvis Herman Hesse, chapter O, chairman. Oh, chairman. Chairman. Akwaba. Chairman, why? You go funeral. How do you reduce me? National chapters committee chairman. Yeah, you see. Oh, not, oh, not chapter O, oh, sorry. National chapters committee chairman. Exactly. I beg, I apologize. I apologize. That's fine. That's fine. I apologize. That's fine. I apologize. That's fine. You don't know, belong to chapter O before at any point. I, 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 was, yeah. I was there. Um, Patron for so uh, many years and still uh, uh, I be, I be them my patron. So, uh, so I beg. Uh, and chapter uh, O, Charlie. <laughs> regards to them. You know me, chapter O. <laughs> National chapters committee chairman. I beg. Sure, you, sure, sure. Before you go beat me up, I beg. <laughs> All right, Abi, uh, Charlie, welcome. Charlie, thanks, bro. Good Charlie, thanks, bro. Everything cool. Charlie, we did talk. You don't say you. You they say <laughs> no, 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 no. This matter, there we go talk. Oh, Abi, they say. <laughs> <laughs> you go the board where you go talk, say you resign. If you, you finish where now, you say you want the board again, where they say make you come out for that. So, you know, you don't be board member again. Charlie, Charlie, what happened for that? Charlie, my core responsibility is with the supporters. <laughs> you understand? Um, they were the ones who voted for me. Yes. Um, and unprecedented elections, I won by a very big margin. Uh -huh. And um, they expected me to yeah. be with them. Uh, you know, the problem is that. Uh, in Heart of Folk, when you are the supporters chairman, you rep on the board as well, unlike our brothers from Asante Kotoko. So sometimes it makes your work, Charlie, very difficult. Eh. Because there are times the supporters are saying, hey, then the board too wants you, you know, yeah. Charlie. And you are caught in the middle. Charlie, it not be easy. So wait, you, you still don't answer my question. <laughs> so if you're the first way, they say make you resign. Huh? Not really. But, you know, after that demonstration, which yes. as the leader I led, uh -huh. um, the fan base were divided. After the demonstration, I thought that some of the requests that they were making, Charlie, if I day on the board and you want me to still do this, <laughs> Charlie, be hard. So make I shift my body small. The moment I shift, then the same fan say, ah, we go put you there to talk for us. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, ah, my people. <laughs> I said, my people, if I day there, some of the things I don't go fit talk them. <laughs> now I can't do small demonstration. You see, and after the demonstration, my brother, Charlie, let's be very factual. Things are going well, you know. Yeah. And this is all we want in Africa. Yeah, they are the ambitious. We don't after want to After the demonstration, the things you demand, they don't do all, but some they happy. Like That's, the coach like this, they bring new coach, correct? A one. local coach, a very fantastic yeah, one. Yeah, that was one of the demands. I remember was I was there. And another demand, a very major demand was that uh, the AGM should take place. Next month, it's taking place. Wow. So, you see, we don't, we don't really dislike anybody on the board. We don't hate anybody. Our father taught me our father. We love him. Yeah. We cherish him. Me, I came to power on the basis of Togbe Afede. People said... Togbe's boy, Togbe's boy. And I said, yes, vote for me. Yeah. So I don't, but you see, sometimes when you are doing the job, the supporters chairman, it not be a small job, bro. Hey, I know, I know. You know, so Charlie, know. I've been through a lot and I've been very quiet. Because to be on the reasons. So yeah. imagine, yeah, so basically, Charlie. then what did they happen? We say, you know, as a member of the board mm -hmm. and a representative of the supporters, the supporters, they demonstrate against the board. Exactly. Where you join the support. So you are demonstrating against yourself. You see, oh. <laughs> And I stood there inside the soup, and after two, yeah, my, board, my board too felt that, Charlie, you be one of us, how come? Hey, so you are one member, you could be on the other side. You understand, some comments that were made by some ordinary supporters and some people, oh, Charlie, put me for trouble inside. Oh, Charlie. My, my chairman was really annoyed. I understand him, Charlie, I for beggar, <laughs> which I did. Uh, so I where the begging come from. Exactly. So you go back to me. Why not? On behalf so of wait, So how the begging go? You say, oh, I beg, the board, put, put oh. me for inside again, I de beg you. Oh, not be board matter. You see... The issue is that my position as the national chairman alone, it's big. 
You understand? The board is also an added advantage. You understand? Yeah. Me, right now, I'm not on the board, but I'm still the chairman of the supporters. I'm recognized everywhere. Yeah. But the board was an added advantage. But in my meeting with the chairman, I realized that the chairman was bitter because of some words that were used. Personally, me, yeah. if I'm addressing issues, I want us to address issues. I'm a communications guy. Mm. You understand? I want us to address issues. So those who insulted and those who passed comments... Insulted the sovereignty. Uh -huh, the bottom I was... And I said, please, I'm, I, I have to hold this. And I did it for every supporter. Yeah. And the same supporters were like, you were begging. I said, ah, <laughs> you are my own. <laughs> you can't you satisfy to everybody. You can't satisfy everybody, bro. <laughs> right, so, uh, like, how you go... How would you describe it? Be inside and be outside. Which one would it be better for you? It was... Our, our concept was a very beautiful one. Mm. You understand? It was a very beautiful one. And it's, it's something that I thought that other clubs should, Charlie, you know, learn. So that at least the supporter chairman being on the board, it's not a bad thing. It, yeah. uh, it enables you to also channel grievances and all those things there. But you see, how of folk, we've gone 10 to 11 years without a cap. That one alone was a pressure on me and the board. Yeah. We've come a long way. So these things were meant to happen. You, you, you get my thing. But Ali, it's for the sake of the club. I want the club to flourish. If I have to die for Heart of Hope to win yeah. trophies, I'll do it. So thing. whatever we did, if my board, if I'm on the board and that was sacrificed for Heart of Hope to win the league this year, yeah. so be it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I beg. Your English is flow, but I make you miss out with the pigeon give you I go do give you. I've been Nigerian born now. I know. Ah, you've been Nigerian born. Ah, they bought me for Nigeria now. Where? Uh, um, the place is called Satellite Town. Hey. In Lagos, Satellite Town. Satellite. I only yeah. know about some song. A song is Satellite, baby. <laughs> no, I don't know. Satellite. All right. <laughs> today, we, 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 when our first topic for today be officiating, referee, yeah. Yeah. make I miss you. So far in the Ghana Premier League this season, what should they make of the performance of the referees? Generally. Um, bro, Tali, make, make I talk you the truth. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay. Referees are humans, Charlie. They be human beings like us. They make yeah. mistakes, Charlie. Me, I, I come a long way, bro. Yeah. I've been referee before. You've been referee before. They slap you before. I was in refereeing. I did do referee where I said, Charlie, I love her to folk too much. to make her run. <laughs> then go, go find my destiny there. Yeah. You see, then, Charlie, after the Anas expose thing, yeah. you realize that, Charlie, most of the referees, they promote them. Okay. You see, so gradually, by next season, next two seasons, then they go gain more experience. Mm. Then so we we for support the referees. Yeah. What are the topics? Tell be very painful. See team owners go 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 pay transportation, food, and things. The referee go still am. Tell be very painful. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. make we know they exaggerate okay. some of the things. And you media guys, tell you for help us. Yeah. We for know they exaggerate as if tell the look how to folk. We suffer more referee decisions than any club. Really. Even as a big club. Because from what are they hear from the oh. Kotoko supporters, that no be the case. Bro, Charlie, now as of all supporters, we become. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no. If it be before, you see, we go as good, you know what, the penalty thing. Yes. That matter, we talk about that. I go feel the sight, many, 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 many examples give you. Okay. I go feel, even in the last three years, I go yes. feel the sight, many examples. Okay. So, as of all, we they suffer. And you see, these days, we, we won't migrate from that. Type of supporters we always did it. See, I say we did it. Uh -huh, you know, to that kind you of. You want to be exemplary. Ex exactly, bro. Yeah. So sometimes people they feel, ah, Charlie, be hard to follow supporters, but we. This be quiet like that. No, you know, be so Charlie, the game they change. Of course. The game they change. So we too, we for the change. Yes. If you know, be so me, I go feel call my boys right now. If you be referee, you chop against me, master. If you come across sports stadium, you know, it go happen. <laughs> but, if you're happy, you go ban you. That be the thing. Not be so good the thing. things have changed. Now that you can't do anything and go away with it. Where the channels they way you go feel what? Right to the FA. Okay. The FA way we get now, they be proactive. Mm -hmm. They be proactive. Yeah, yeah, you do something now. They go so you man, chop three point minus ah, three point. I hear say today no. Yeah. So Charlie, those way they anyway. be talk about refereeing, refereeing. Every team is affected. Okay. If you won't talk, Charlie, you no know, be today we go So uh, what we go do be say we go take you to some of the if you like, controversial or some of the decisions where it really make plenty people they talk. Like, it really make plenty people they talk a lot, you bab. So we put together some video of some of the decisions in the Ghana Premier League so far this season. And this video, it involves all kinds of teams, right? We're going to take you through the video. Just watch for yourself. And then when we come back, we go pick the incidents one after the other. Then we go analyze all of them. Take a look.
right, so that made a video. Of course, say up, it be hard eyes we start time they give we. We know get all the incidents of the refereeing decisions. These be the ones we go pick out from the highlights and they provide you. So there are so many other incidents, including the ones where it happened for matches where they're not there on TV safe. So plenty of incidents there. So make you know, if you see the sample size be small, make you forgive us because the highlights we they get. Some incidents of the, the highlights, they know they include them. I'll give you a good example. And Hesse, you know, go be happy, but he now he know. In the game against Brecum, uh, Bechem United, just last weekend, had to work the lead, no, last midweek, sorry. Had to work the lead 1 0. The last minute, some Richard Atta, he clambered into some Bechem United defender, be where they know Adam for the highlights inside. Me, I'd be referee now, I'd be penalty against House of Folk. 95th minute, Bechem score 1 1, the match end. You see, but the referee, he don't take the hour. <laughs> but if you talk to so, you, 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 Elvis, you watch that incident. No, it's a last see the incident. Yeah, then you know the penalty. It'd be penalty. Correct penalty. Be penalty. So that'd be why now they talk, you see. The issue of penalty, then the issue of refereeing. Tell it be general thing. Oh, uh -huh. be oh general. yeah. Mm. When I bring my second guest in, Achita Maklu is here. Mm. Uh, gentlemen, how are you? Know I don't know how today, today I happened to have the two of you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but everything cool. Make I introduce my special. You are not as special as my special <laughs> guest, all right? My special guest is all the way in Kumas. He they listen to us. Very calm boy, fantastic footballer. I know him because this boy, he be chief for his hometown. He be king. Many people don't know. Oh hene. Oh hene pa, oh hene. That's what you call a hene. In fact, that be the king of Wichau. You know Wichau? No. Wichau be the where we get the hippos in Ghana, the only town we get. The hippo, be big man. the hippo in Ghana. Be big man. Yeah. Now, the Imo, you say he be special. Imor Ibrahim is my guest. <laughs> Joining us from Buena Studio for Kumasi. Uh, Imor, if you can hear me, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing good. How are you too? Imor, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, how are you? How are you? I'm doing good. Chale, I say, how I are you too? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. At the time that people say, you, you be chief or you be prince, they know they believe me. I mean, you be prince for your hometown, are they like? <laughs> <laughs> it be so, yeah, it be true. It be, it be, it be true. Charlie, good to have you on the show, man. Good to have you on the show. I beg you, so, so far this season, let's begin with how your season go for Kotoko so far this season. I don't know if you're pigeoning good, if you make sound with the pigeon for me, I go like, man, the show, the pigeon show. But if you don't go feed to, you go feed speed the English like that. So far this season, how you go feel, how you go describe your season so far for Asante Kotoko? Yeah, so far I can say like the season has been good. It's been good, eh? So yeah, coming into the season, good. yeah. So coming into the season, then what were your expectations about the season and the way it has gone so far? Just kindly take me through your your expectations for the season and then how it go for you so far just talk me through that uh, for now um like the time when we were coming to start so i told myself that uh, this season i'm going to give out my best for the fans and for my family so. okay and uh uh, so far, of course, I'm sure you, you, you provided quite a lot of assist uh, so far this season. Sure. You were doing so for sure. Kwame Opoku. Now, you and Fabio Gama, you are sharing the assists. You've got other strikers stepping up. I mean, talk to me about your experience in the Ghana Premier League. Because me, we all they remember you from when you came to the league with Bolga All Stars. Even that season, even though Bolga All Stars got relegated, you were a star player in that season. So can you say that maybe all of the years you have had in the league and the experience you had in Karela United is what is now resulting in the way you are performing. You have enough experience. That's what is helping you. Yeah, so far I can say, I can say so. Yeah. But you, you, I always keep on learning a lot. So to give out my best always. Okay. Uh, today, we did talk about officiating. I'll go ask you about it because in, uh, in Obuasi, <laughs> we watched the game against Brickham Chelsea. From tackle and tackle, you know, be easy. You said, we make lucky, say, you stand here right now. 
I mean, so far as a player, what is your opinion on the way officiating has been so far this season? Um, so far, I, I can say some of some of the referees are not being fair. Some tackles are the you like. They need to give them like cards, but they don't. They don't give them cards. The, 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 the tackle I had the last time, it was a straight red card, but I don't think they, they even gave the, uh, the guy a yellow card. Yeah, uh, he, he, he didn't get the yellow card. So, so sometimes, they, sometimes they should protect we, the players. This is what we, we do to, to feed our families. So if, if they hurt you and you go out and sit down, how, how will you, uh, like, get the support to feed your family. They should always protect us. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and, 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 and for you personally, I'm sure that um, like when you go into every single match, because people say you'll be small, no? more players, they tack, they, more players, they target you because they want to come out to you because you're sending some wicked, wicked crosses where you they cause trouble. So everybody's always... Like, when you go into a game, because of your diminutive nature, do you think that, like, when you go into a match, most times the other teams, they, they target you because they want to bully you then knock you off or something like that? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure of that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I will come back to you um, uh, very shortly because we got plenty of things to talk about from national team, whether Kotoko go feel win the league, plenty of things to talk about with my special guest in Kumasi, Imor Ibrahim, former Karela, former Volga All-Stars player. But Achu, uh, you have just joined us. We did talk yeah. about the refereeing decisions. We showed a very interesting video of how the refereeing decisions have been, at least the ones we go feel they want to hands on. Yeah. Um, of course, we know if you turn a blind eye to the general conversation around these days that, you know, maybe some people, the Kotoko fans feel like there is an agenda, if you like, because too many, like the penalty incident against uh, Elmina Sharks, for example. I don't know about you, but what is your general impression of the refereeing so far in the... You know, be, it be the same as before. Honestly, what would they Really? See? Nothing new? Nothing new. You know, be, look, uh, in the past, yeah. people know they mind because hearts now, if, if they take the penalty, then they would go anywhere. This time around, if they see, say, then they progress. So... There is a real chance that if these bad decisions go in their favor, they may unfairly get to win the league, mm. which we all we know go like. We don't. We all we don't want to say the team where they win the league, if they win them on merit. Yeah. So we, uh, they understand some of those. However, okay. the only issue be say, it be dishonest and biased, because look, with the kind of Mediama Hearts game, yeah, Ali Watara straight running elbow into the chest of. Um, Manan mm -hmm. ref day there, he said you know be foul. Those ones day. The Patrick Razak, the Haas Karela game for stadium here. Yeah. Those ones. So countless instances where decisions go against Haas. But the same people where they complain today pretend like they know it. So for me, yeah. those ones are not really they pay mind today. It be Kotoko fans where they feel say they fear say has go feel win the league. Yeah. The real issues for me be say when a culture with regards to officiating, it they make them difficult for we to get the very good officiating. And I'll go explain to you why. Mm. One of the things we they certainly encourage be say, oh, it be too soft. So if any challenge where we feel say, no, this one yet, the ref, you, like, if we're not give foul, it not be, be it not be said with the belief say the ref make the wrong call. In but a, we look at common errors, like mm -hmm. in the talk. Mm -hmm. This be hearts of folk. So this be decision against hearts of folk. So you are the come. Because I, I, will, I will get to all of that part. Mm. One of the things me at the CB, the subculture where we they admit say the rules they, we they admit quietly say the ref make the right call, but we they feel say the gravity no be enough. Mm. Say no, the guy you know the player no should not work him like that, so it be soft call. Aside that, we also got this perception. I don't know where it come from. Say in the opening fifteen minutes, ref for no give yellow card. So if player go work and right. play, you go hear say fans they talk say oh, it be too early in the game. Uh -huh. If the ref give that, all of these things, if they play into their minds, it they affect we. Mm. It they so some of these things, and you see, yes, they must see the chop red ten minutes into the uh -huh. match. 
You see, it, the interesting thing is that the same fans where they complain, it would they show highlights where some of these tackles they come. Unfortunately, the highlights not go show you the time the offense was committed. Mm -hmm. So, if it be highlights that, then we all go talk to you about the ref why you no take. You see that thing? Mm. So we get that part of one understanding of the game. Mm. The issues about even the interpretation of some of these rules and the gravity of it. Sometimes the timing where we the feel say, oh, sometimes it be too early in the game. You see that thing? Then we get the third issue of fans no understanding the law. So even if the ref get the call correct, we the talk say, the Fatah Mohammed penalty incident where the ref give. People swear say, no, the ref made the right decision. Because the ball touched his hand. Yes. But because <coughs> they don't understand the nuances of the handball. Yes. Mm. Is, and you see, even apart from that. In an incident like this one. Yeah. This is where people get on a challenge. Uh -huh. Is it possible to say we go fit pass this one on as just an ordinary error by the referee? First of all, the penalty decision. And then second of all, the so, mistaken identity. I, I will tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the feel say this one be fitness issue. For every referee, you have a distance where you are allowed. Mm. You for day in close proximity. Why is the keeper not even on the line? Uh -huh. So you are the camp. It be two issues. This one be the assistant. However, in 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 fairness to the assistant, he flag up. But for whatever reason, the ref see that we ignore. But the real issue will result in the penalty. And the feel say if the ref be closer to the action, he go give. I don't know if granting the the Kotoko Legon City's game, the mm. jump penalty incident, the ref no be close to the action enough to see. But after the game, we all would agree say this one, if the ref be close enough, he go see. Yeah. And if you say fitness demon, because we they see so many So you're saying when a ref is no be fit. No. So they are always too far away too from far the action. Too far away from the action. And you see, it no be one. Mm. On a on a regular match, they pay attention to the referees. So many incidents where they where the ref they be too far away from that. So it doesn't even get to the point where either you see by the application of the rules or the interpretation be wrong. So that one too be another matter. Mm. Where I see. But because a, a clear demonstration of the point you did make be the penalty against dwarfs. Yeah. Uh, sorry, against Shad. Yeah. He whistled that thing from five. He did come now he did no so no with this. Least, is... least confusion you no, know, then okay, he forgets then right. make make that That's decision. an interesting point you did make. Yeah. I got take Hesse in opinion on on some of the the, the, some of the decisions we see in the highlight video. Yeah. But we will take some very, very brief break. When we come back, we go uh, look into uh, a, a lot more detail of the, the, the video and all of that. Make you not go anywhere. This is before we're made in Ghana. All right. Before we're made in Ghana, live on City TV. My name is Fentio Tahiri Fentio. I'm here with uh, Elvis Herman Hesse, the National Chapters Committee Chairman, Achit Tamar Klo from Asasi Radio, and my special guest from Kumasi Asanju Kotoko, left back, Imoro Ibrahim, joining us there. Imoro, there are the times for staying with us. Uh, uh, we did talk about the officiating and all that, but you give your opinion already on that particular matter, so I'm not going to ask you on that uh, <laughs> again, because if you don't take care, you go talk something and then go put you in trouble, so I'm not going to make you go there. Uh, but Imoro, what I miss you about Kotoko, playing for Kotoko, he played for Boga All Stars, he played for uh, Karela United, now they play for Kotoko. What would you say be the difference between <coughs> playing for those teams and then playing for Kotoko? Is what is the special thing about Kotoko that is that makes it such a such a big deal? Uh, uh, you know, um, for Kotoko, it's a big club, and you know the fans too. They are they are always they always want you to win all your matches. So there's a lot of pressure. Akotoko, but all the other teams I played, you know, they are, they are not like um, big clubs like that. So. Yeah. What uh, what be the nature of the pressure at Kotoko? Because everybody says Kotoko pressure they there, pressure they there. Where the pressure they come from? Because right now, self, the fans have no day. So, you know, they hear fans, they insult you for stadiums <laughs> because fans know they go to stadiums. So, where the pressure they come from? Is it from within, from management, or like where is the pressure coming from? No, it's not within the management. You know, it's, the, it's from the fans. You know, they always want the best. And you know, in football too, like, you can't win all your games. It's not possible. Yeah. 
and and for the Adako Jachi training day, I shall say when you join Kotoko Fresh, going for training and seeing all of the fans always at the training like that. I just said there will be something new, like you, you can feel that Kotoko is something special. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move on to um, other things. Uh, I don't know about, uh, but about you, but in the country, a lot of people say you'll be the, left back, the best left back in the country at the moment. If you talk, then the House of Folk fans, they shout, Radio Vuka. But in my <laughs> books, and in the books of everybody, you'll be the left, best left back in the Ghana Premier League, oh, except <laughs> the House of Folk fans, we, <laughs> you do, uh, I don't know. Then they, they mention some Congolese boy. But, <laughs> but we always don't say if he's Imo. But uh, Imo, I like, talk to me about your ambitions, like what you want to. Because I know, say, even before you came back to Koto, you go trial for Israel, and things from your time at Karela, but it not really happen, you know, yeah. can, can you take me through, like, what really happened there where you know get the deal before you come back? What really happened for the Israel there? Um, like, the deal, the deal, I got, I got a deal, but it was, the coach, the coach who signed me, the time we, we, we came to Ghana and we went back, uh, the, the, the coach had to leave. So they brought a new coach. So, so he too, he said, I'm not part of his plans. So I had to cancel the contract, then I come back. Oh, that, that's that's too bad. That if that, that, that it be the yeah. coach's loss because there my loss be quarter quarter my gain because right now this season, without a doubt, you've been one of the best players for Asante Kotoko. Um, what be your I shall say you go talk say your target is to win the league, but when you have conversation within the Kotoko squad. Like, what impression did they give you about this team? Like, what do you want to achieve as a team at Kotoko? Um, like, oh, we were working hard to, to win the league, like, at the end of the season. So we'll be the, we'll be the champions at the end of the season. Yeah, win the so league. We'll keep, we'll keep working hard every game. Game by game, till the end of the season. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's all we all want. I'll come back and ask you about national team and, and all those other related matters. Then I'll speak some Wali with you, because me and my Wali, I try to publish, publish the Wali, <laughs> but now the Wali and the publisher, you know they go where? <laughs> I only understand the okay. cardio, carbon jab, carbon jab or <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> ah, yes <sir>. okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we will come back to uh, Imoro there. But if you okay. listen to us as well, you get a question, give Imoro. If you sign up to me, plus two two three five five zero five eight five eight three three. The Kotoko fans, especially who they watch the show, you want to ask Imoro some special question, send it to me. I'll go ask on your behalf. He did here till the end of the show. Uh, Elvis, when I come back to you uh, on this referee matter. Yeah, up and then you did make some brilliant point about the officiating and how we need to be patient. Take me through that again. If you are say the officiating matter with the see, no agenda, it just be say the space we have now is lacking quality of official, quality referee, and we need to be patient. Bro, make I talk you something. Mm -hmm. Where from the agenda? The agenda from Kotoko. Make I talk you, make I give you an example. I just be show you something about the referee we, we officiate our match. Plus the team. Mm. Where are the talk you see? They get duties of assistant referee, then they get duties of a referee. Okay. If assistant referee where the lines before him, if goalkeeper move, if you wait they way they see the line, where he raising flag, the referee, before they listen to him. Yeah. But if you watch this referee, if they insist, say no, 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 therefore not retake take the penalty. Mm. You see, that'd be wrong, it'd be inexperienced, you know the agenda. You know, be say the referee, you are uh, yes, apart somebody, from yeah. the penalty where he make mistake, where he take Nankasano. The second mistake, the, that one, it be inexperienced. Because for an experienced referee, you get gadgets. You see, say, your assistant raise the flag. You go ask him why you raise you go, the flag. You go you ask talk him, about you go, the shark keeper moving off the line. The yeah. shark keeper will move off the line. Okay, okay. The assistant raise the flag. Mm -hmm. So the referee, if you, you think you're not going to communicate direct, even plus the gadget, you go go to him. Charlie, what they happen? You say, Charlie, the keeper come out for line. That's all. It be you see the line. Yeah. You, you don't go see the line. You see the thing. But the man insists, say, no, Tali, he didn't be the final person. At that place, he didn't experience. Mm. But if you day back, you go think there'll be some agenda. 
Why we so why do we have inexperienced referees in the league? This be the question. But if you were talking, you say after the announcement expose, the 54 referees will they sideline them now. Mm -hmm. We bring new ones, they bring new ones on board. Mm -hmm. So these new ones, you know, the, the structure day for referees. Mm -hmm. You for do uh, um, class three, mm -hmm. for course and division three for like at least three years. Yes. You understand me? I do that. After that three years, you will go write exams for uh, class two. two. Yep. If you write the class two where you pass the exams, you go pack, you go come. Mm -hmm. Can't do division two. From division two to class one, from class two to class one, that one is the assessment. Yeah. Yeah. So they will give you some matches where they go come watch you, they assess it. Ali. That one will be like how many years? It'll be three years. Yeah. So by the time where you go study, officiate the Premier League, you do how many years? Then you get plenty of experience. You get 10 years or more experience, you see. Yeah. But after the announce expose, we for push, they for push some referees from Division 1, quickly then bring them well, to... Well, all are elite referees. Them all them go. So yeah. Sir Fletcher, all of them. Then they don't meet the age mm. for retirement. Yeah. So as they push so these young ones come, you see, as and they as push retired. the young ones come, <laughs> plenty of them inexperienced day. Right. So some of the mistakes, yes, some I agree with that you. There are some fitness issues. Because if you look at the distance, the distance will take, take, the, decision. take the decision for the penalty. It will not be too close. Car. Well, Charlie, if you're not sure, they're not like you for nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You no. talk, we still they talk the Elmina Shah penalty. Penalty, yeah. penalty. But he Charlie. whistle from foul. Yeah. Penalty, I make a talk. It'd be like degree. It'd be they, they award. Right. <laughs> yes. Right, right, right. Penalty, it'd be, it'd be there like degree. It'd be, they, they award to you. Referees, they award penalty. So if me, I be referee, so where I still see, say, Charlie, my position will be too good. You yeah. see, it will not be so. You understand? Because even with the law, yeah. then they make allocations. That's why we get something with the call. See where he did? He did. Almost at that side, low. Tell him where he's too far from the ball. He's he not be fit enough to follow the, the, the progress play. of play. Mm -hmm. We get that's where we get something called the spirit and letter of the law. So, I found that one of them are uh, recent amendments they make. They say in the defensive phase, if the ball cannot off as in it bounce off a player where it touch defender in arm, it will be penalty, even though it will be touch close, it will be far. Uh -huh. yeah. Because in the spirit of the law, then the interpreter and be say, it no be unfair means it take win advantage yes. to score. However, if it be the attacker, it touch your arm, it no the here say it touch it another place. So long intentional. as it touch your arm, yes. the interpretation be say it they give you advantage. Of Where, course. Because it touch your arm, it be undue advantage yeah. to score. How many football fans even understand these things? We if you watch Runa League, how many of the so referees they this law? Eh? You want to tell me, see, if we did defend the defensive face, we did defend the defender, they hold on, the yes. defender did the goal line. Where you had the ball, inadvertently, the ball hit the defender in hand from close range. No, but it be, now, you know, take. So the interpretation be, the point of confusion be, who determines what be the reasonable distance? That's the, that's the whole point. Uh -huh. But you see, the issue be say, you don't even see one of the referees interpreting someone. If you watch one of the referees, they don't. Their performance, no, they tell you, say, Charlie, this thing, it be yeah. some hardcore stuff that they interpret over there. Most of the times, if you apply the law, if you go read the law, Charlie, you know, they father, the decisions that they take, it not be consistent with the law. And yeah. me, I they agree with Hesse. The things we experience now, the things we should have experienced in 2018. Yeah. Because at the time where we sack or we suspend majority of the referees, no, these guys would have learned from yep. 2018 up until now. From the NC but competition. We lose three seasons. Season. Yeah. Ooh. We lose three seasons. So three we, learning seasons. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> so Charlie football, I love so this <laughs> we lose three seasons. I mean, whether right. we like it or not, this thing it be normal. It was okay. bound to happen. So the the say, for the verdict be say there are free sneak time. Yeah. No, but generally see, some in of the experience too. day plenty. Some of Fitness the issues, issues day. But the FA for punish those yes. who deliberately but the is doing and it. those who are making mistakes that are too consistent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the consistent FA is mistakes. Yes. Uh -huh. Consistent. Alpha uh -huh. the man will go officiate the Legon City Dwarf yes. game. It be the same person he give the Fatah Mohamed penalty for. Obo 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 mm. It be the same person he do the I think Kotoko Legon Cities. Right. If if will not be so. Yeah. Yes. Then they learn. But if you are good, if you understand the law. There are things that Goofy affects. No, no, no. The, 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 the referee for the 
Or Bassi game mm -hmm. between us for in and then ban them like the banam. The banana is not the banana. The FAD is a little bit better than the FAD. In terms yeah. of those okay. ones, there. Since, since, and so, but since you mentioned it, I've had the. But you see, the, the agenda, the math, the real issue be say, like the way we all we agree say, the referee issue be general issue. Yes. You know, be say, you know, be so our brothers they think. So nobody is conniving anywhere. If yesterday you did follow some commentary, Sally, we did monitor some platforms, some cutoff -cut platforms, Sally, the agenda we did bring. What be the agenda? But yesterday, one of their uh, greater crowd, PRU's uh, leader, could make a mention in him. Go talk to say be everyone at the beggar. He be my brother. But as you know, they hear where you go clear. No, you know, they. You know, they. But you know, we all will be brothers. The things we understand, we say, being Kotoko agenda or not, fans will is, always be fans. <laughs> but there is something to listen to in all of the complaints. Which what be is say, there to listen to? Which be say the performance for improve. No, but you know, talk yes. about the performance. Uh -huh. He they blame, he they talk say FA, they try to what? For knife. No, no, that thing, when you do that, you they bring our league to see, what? See, the credibility of the league. Those ones, those ones, make we leave that league. one to the FA. Make the FA do them a job. In fact, if someone knows anyway, the FA, he'll be supporter to supporter. He, 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 he does that thing, the FA no go feed drag supporters. That be the point. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want me at the response for him. And they talk the refs. The FA, your job is saying, if a ref no perform, punish him. You see, the problem with me at the reply need that could be seen. FA cannot punish need that so me, I won't talk neither. Kusi, so you just came here to If them agenda, if them agenda, <laughs> be say the way we climb the camp, them agenda be say they go disrupt this league because they know say the matches we left, you know. So they no go go well give them. <laughs> no, <laughs> ah, no, it don't be the same. See, oh, but see. But Otoko had the oh, most informed team in the league. They go fit beat anybody. Oh, for where? <laughs> oh, they fit beat anybody. For where? No, if but, the cat has a book, they go fit beat. You see, friend, too, but let's take something serious. Make a talk you something. May night me at this stadium. If you like, if I ask, make if I talk ask tomorrow right now, if they catch you, <laughs> make a talk you something. May night me at this stadium, man. What need I could talk yesterday? Make we condemn him. You know why? Yes. Very soon, we they can't play as a folk and Kotoko. If you begin to incite supporters, if you begin to talk say Charlie, if they favor out of folk, and referees they favor out of folk, as we they come, now they open 25%. Yes. For stadium. So fans go there inside. Very soon, like next month, now we they play Kotoko. We will they play home. Then before you go see, the supporters they are like, you understand what did they listen from the leaders? As I stand here, if I talk yes, they be cheat no, the supporters be that one they follow. Yes. So we for condemn gallium. them. Charlie. I'm telling you, otherwise, we don't go to go play. The referee go office go whistle for some genuine penalty. Or some genuine one decision. Thing, yeah. So one I, I know I get Elvis in point. Elvis in point. You see, thing. If we they tackle the issue of bad officiating, let's tackle it holistically. And leave it to the FA, to, 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 to the planning. Make you not go on this tangent of somebody ah, is trying exactly. to do and, something and in the background. Is, there's one thing that they, one they agree on. There's one thing the FA for do. Everywhere in the world, the best referees, they officiate the biggest games. Of course. Why say Neil Aye and the best referees we get, know they get the big games in the league? That one, I get some answer give you. But that answer crowd they can't give you. I agree with you again that the Chale. FA should look at it. When I, I be referee, now they know they make... Accra based referees, they do Accra based matches. Kumasi based referees, it be our own of mentality. Course, of course. It be we our own mentality. Because we'll now we introduce that. You see the name, Daniel Ayi. Then quickly, even when Agbovi, who was an Eve, was doing us a folk matches, eh, my people they complain. Eve, we will be gunting. <laughs> You, you see that thing? So, gun. what if I you go... Be universal team, no, be no, they can't. No, but it's a gun. It's a gun. It's a universal team, but it's a gun. When they say, I go be for officiators of folk man, my people say, hey, I go be, it's be out of folk man. <laughs> then you can't put gun man in the center. Then, prrr, penalty. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that means, uh, but that thing is no good. We for, we for yeah. going national, we for going international. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Then, we for make the best referees, irrespective Challenge. of them are... Them are language, them are things. We for me, yeah, they do. We for believe in them. We for yeah. believe in them. Me, I they trust you. But the referees, have they done enough for us to believe in them? But he's talking no, about the best. About the best referees. Okay. Anyway, uh, speaking of which, Alpha, I they, after four, five minutes in their game, <laughs> between uh, Episode was and Lagos City, he said that Matthew will appreciate that game. He said that this is more Yeah, he said that. So now the DFA, they go take the session. They say Episode Dwarfs. In fact, it be your fault. He say it be your. It be your, it be you, your fault. It be you for make sure say the referee feel safe to officiate the game. So as you know, if you protect them there, we he abandoned the match. One at the three points and take give the one city. Who are leading one nil by the way, by the time they call the game off. I mean, to be fair, this is a logical conclusion. Oh yeah, I me. Mean, I read the full ruling. I read the summary too, Charlie. It go hard to say, make them no appeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it seems like a logical. The referee point. cites people for dwarfs management team. Wait and talk things to him. 
Uh-huh. This is mother he, had... He mentioned... <laughs> he mentioned John Ansan, the Dwarfs management member. Wait, he mentioned two other management members. Wait, he also mentioned, say, the national security operatives tell them, say, even though they call for reinforcement, they're not sure, say, the reinforcements will catch them in time. Right. So they're not going to feel guaranteed them as safety because if the game proceeds, where the game ends, anything that will feel happen between that time and the time the reinforcements of the police service will come, then we'll be like, well, the small team, then they're there. Yeah. So they might advise be say, make them prioritize them as safety. Wait them to a far back, they in assistance, then the match commission, then sit down and say, if the security people no go feel guaranteed, because it be the inner perimeter, then come. Then chase them to the dressing room where the police can't save them. For that to happen again, then for prioritize them and safety right. with them, see. Very important. They don't go do. Uh, Imo, um, make I bring you in and ask you like two or three questions that I will make you go. The first question I get for you, uh, national team, uh, last call ups then do, um, then they don't call you. This one too, they do again, they don't call you. I mean, when you look at the way you they perform in the season and the national team handlers are not calling you, how do they make you feel? Um, I really, I really feel bad. I see it. I see it to be maybe it's not yet my time. So when my time is due, I'm sure definitely they'll call me. What? what why you figure say you for do differently? Because it'd be like you know, do everything you for do, but still they call up, no, they come. Why do you think that is happening? <laughs> I, I come, I come by still. So yeah. maybe at the right time. So they will call me. <laughs> okay, counting on the right time. Down there, it'll be next three. Uh, anyway, uh, speaking of which, uh, you, Abida, you they listen to the House of Folk chairman. He talk plenty. He say they go fish score hearts of, he go fish score hearts of, why, why, why? Did they come? Did they come? I mean, uh, it's always a big game. Looking forward to a House of Folk quarter call match. I mean, uh, the, the first leg, you meet them, then it'll be some really interesting game of football. This time around, next month now, you they meet them again. Is that like the one game that you are always looking forward to? You want to play as a folk? No, it's not like um, I, I want to play um, as a folk. So we are taking it game by game. So when that game comes, then we will we'll prepare for that one. Okay. And uh, Max Wakunedi brought you to Kotoko. Court now you are under a different coach, uh, Mariano Beretto. Tell me what it feels like working under him. He's a former Blasters coach and all that. Tell me more about working with him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been so good working with him. Yeah. How so? Like, he's, he's, what changes has he brought to the team? Yeah, he has brought a lot of changes. Like, he makes you understand what you should do. I see. And um, I'm sure that uh, uh, also the two Brazilians that are in the team now, it, it makes it easier for them to settle in because he speaks Portuguese with them, I bet. Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, Ivor, before I go make you go, uh, <laughs> now... Of course, we know that um, Kotoko, for more than one year now, Kotoko, you don't play any matches in Kumasi. Now you, you play in Accra, yeah. now you're going to play in Obuasi. Uh, tell me something about the Kotoko fans and how much you miss them, because that must be a big, big blow to Kotoko that you people don't get the fans to play in front of them for a really long time. Okay, I can hear you well. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, I was saying that for more than one year, you people don't play at the uh, Babaya Sports Stadium in Kumasi. You play in Accra, Obuasi. Tell me how much uh, you miss him playing in front of the fans in Kumasi and what impact that has had on your season so far. <laughs> um, we really missed playing in front of our fans in Kumasi so much. So... We are hoping um, to return to Kumasi and make them happy. So. All right. Uh, very interesting. All right. Uh, I'll go put up the fixtures for match week 26 now. Um, 
and then I go ask tomorrow if they go win them again or ask if we go win them a match. Uh, that's what's going on. So uh, this weekend, of course, let me show you the results from match week 25 already. They did, all right, so these are the fixtures. I'll go show you the results from match week 25. 11 Wonders are hosting House of Food. Kotoko take on Wafa. Great Olympics take on Inter Allies. Almina Shas take on King Fires. Olegons Kiss are up against the Journal Stars. Dreams FC are up against Beche. Mediama hosts Ashanti Gold. Chelsea hosts Carella. And if we saw Dwarfs, they take on Liberty Professionals. Uh, Ibor, just before I let you go, Kotoko are hosting Wafa. Wafa, the academy boys, they went to beat Brekum Chelsea. Uh, two weeks ago, they're a very difficult team to beat. Tell me more about playing against the academy boys. Most people I talk to always say that they like playing them, or depending on some people, they say they don't like playing the academy boys. Tell me uh, about uh, this game, what your feeling is about this match. Um, I don't see, I don't see it to be any like difficult game for us to play. It's just a normal game for us to play. So, so what we just, um, yeah, it's just a normal game. <laughs> so what happened with Coco Cra? Three points, bam! No be so. Inshallah, <laughs> sure. Inshallah. Ah, Imo, thank you very much for your yeah. time. It has been an absolute pleasure. I beg, go back, get some sleep, and rest up, and get us three points against Wafa. I beg you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I'm more Ibrahim. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I spoke while there. See, my Baraka has welcome. come. You see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean that people that watch you from WhatsApp, if you, if you tell them something in Wale or something like that, then we'll go. Because uh, tell them something in Wale. Or people in your hometown in which are watching you. Um. And then they uh, barka barka to bunga near the neja and support room and then near the neja and poor ho and so hang on the kurumo and poor and barka a jabarka. Aha, no barka, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. No, no, I'll translate. It's basically just thank you to everybody who has been supporting and everyone who has been backing with prayer. Okay. That's all. He's a, he's a lovely yeah. chap. I mean, yeah. Yeah. ultimate. Ah, I see. Guy. He said I got it correct. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a yes, lovely yes. show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you uh, mm -hmm. once again. All right, guys. So, um, okay. That'll be one of the show for today. Yeah. Elvis, I mean, uh, how's the book are playing against uh, Wonders? Yeah, sure, sure. Charlie Wonders. Yeah. Tough, Charlie, match, tough no? game. Yeah, tough game. Charlie, me, what I want to talk to our supporters, they say they should be focused. Every supporter of House of Folk should be focused. They should continue to pray for the team. Um, we want to win the league on merit. In Heart of Folk, we believe that we are an elite team and that we want to win on merit so that when we go for Africa, we don't go and play pre prelims and then disgrace Ghana and come back like we've seen over the years with some things. <laughs> no. Strabulous. So those who are saying, or those <laughs> way that they talk, say uh, somebody won't know, nobody is favoring. We've seen this FA. We've known the way they are conducting themselves. The, way they, the, the league is very, very competitive. And we should credit the FA for that and the FA president. We shouldn't... We, we, we shouldn't, you know, rather disgrace him. His own team won against House of Folk, both um, in, 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 in Dewu, and lost to Kotoko, both women away. How can somebody like that be favoring House of Folk? Mm -hmm. So we are winning, if we should win this league, we are winning on merit, and we want to assure the supporters that they should continue to follow the team, they should continue to support the team, inshallah. From the House of Folk point of view, the supporters' point of view, mm -hmm. what do you make of your coach so far? So far, to be very, very honest, so good. And that is if you want to look at it from the technical perspective, how many matches he has played so far, how many he has won. Purely, I think he's been fantastic. But if you look at our style and the way we are playing, you can see that there is more, 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 more room for improvement. Okay. And that perfect. is something that I think we should work on. All right, perfect. Thank you very much, Elvis. Charlie, thank you. Charlie, uh, thank your you. agenda has adjourned. <laughs> oh, your agenda no, has agenda. No, no, that agenda... We go even organize press conference. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go make actually, anybody, 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 anybody go spoil our league trophy. <laughs> <laughs> this has been our show of football made in Ghana. I beg, until next time, make you take care of yourself. Thanks to Imor Ibrahim as well. I will be back here again next week, Wednesday. Until then, I beg, take care and bye-bye.